Welcome to the Virtual DJ Getting Started series. In this video, we'll show you some of the more advanced deck features, including how to create and adjust loops, how to enable and use basic sound and beat effects, how to adjust and use the deck EQs, and also how to use the Mix Assist and Mix Effects features. So, let's get started. Now, in the first Getting Started video, we showed you how to find and load tracks into the decks and perform your first mix. Now, let's show you some of the other advanced features and controls that are available to you. In both decks, next to the platter and transport controls, there are the following additional features. The deck's pad section, the deck's effects section, the loop controls, the mix assist button, and finally in the mixer section, the deck EQ knobs and the mix effects button. Now to showcase how these all work, let's first load a track into the deck using the browser. Once we have a track loaded, go ahead and press play. First, let's show you how to loop. To create a loop, simply click on the number in the loop section. Virtual DJ will now loop the audio by the number of beats that's shown. Additionally, when you create your first loop, a window will appear for you to set the loop direction to either loop forward or backward. You can also alter the length of the loop by clicking on the arrows next to the beat number. The pad section offers four modes of exciting effects, each with four pads to use. There's the beat grid, the popular loop roll, next are the built-in scratch patterns, and finally, the sampler. Below the pads is the effects section offering three popular DJ effects. The filter, the flanger effect, and the transformer cut effect. If you wish to jump around in the track, click on the waveform in the decks display. Virtual DJ will then jump to that point and continue playback from the nearest beat position. Now in the mixer section, you can find the classic three band EQ controls where you can boost or cut the tracks low, mid, and high frequencies. Two special controls to note are the Mix Assist and the Mix Effects buttons. These features allow you to perform flawless mixes with little effort. After loading your next track into the other deck, click on the Mix Assist button in either deck and Virtual DJ will sync and start playback for you on the proper beat position. The Mix Effects feature will additionally add effects to your mix. Simply click and select the effects that you wish to add, and Virtual DJ will add the proper amount of the selected effects per the position of the crossfader. Now that you know where all of the cool and advanced controls are, we invite you to jump in, play around, and get creative. That'll do it for this Getting Started video. Be sure to check out the other videos in this series so that you too can get to know your way around Virtual DJ.